All right, welcome to another COVID-19 video. We're going to be doing Sanctified by Thee. By the way, the word of the day is quarantine. Sorry, can I just correct you for a second? Sure. It's not sanctified by thee. Oh, what is it? Sanctified. Did you say you wrote this song? Oh, yeah, sanctified with thee. I didn't say it yet. I was going to say it probably. <laughs> We're going to be doing another song. It's called Sanctified with Thee. I wrote this about a year ago. I was in the room when it was being written, or I was around, I'm sure, so I'm going to take some credit. I probably added a word here or there. Anyway, we're going to be doing this song for you. We hope you enjoy.
thank you for joining us at the Miller House for another COVID-19 video. Anything to say, wife? I do, actually. Of course she does. She's got a microphone in front of her. This week we celebrate Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. Good for us and good for him. No, it wasn't good. Um, Jesus came and uh, was born into this world. He left his world. Was born of a virgin and lived a perfect life. He who knew no sin had no sin. And he came here for us. He came here for you. He came here for you. And he knew what was going to happen. God gave his only son so that we could have a renewed and restored relationship with him. And so, understanding the depth of who Jesus is, once you can grasp it, it's, it's hard to understand. That's where the faith comes in, and that you believe everything that the Word of God tells us. So God lived this perfect life. Uh, Jesus, who's God, lived the perfect life and allowed himself to be taken when the time was right and to be beaten brutally and to be nailed to the cross. He was humiliated, had to endure having his clothes ripped off, and this is the God who was perfect and who died because of what we did. We sin in our thoughts daily. And understanding who we are and who we are not when we realize what God has done for us, that he gave us his son who lived this perfect life, who died for us so that we could have the restored relationship. It stirs our hearts, hopefully, and it, it gives us a desire to please God on a daily basis and to try not to sin because we are selfish beings. We want what we want when we want. We want to make ourselves happy. We are to serve others, and that's what we're called to do, to love our neighbor as ourselves. And so when we understand that we fall short from the glory of God, that we sin every single day, by our actions, how we speak to other people, um, holding grudges, jealousy, name it, they're endless. That is all sin against the God of the universe, and he hates sin. But because he loved us so much, he wanted us to be restored and to have a renewed relationship with him. And this is why he gave us Jesus it's important to understand he gave us his son so that we could be reunited and restored with him. God is perfect and we are not. And so in order for us to be redeemed so that he doesn't see our wretchedness anymore, we need Jesus, the only mediator between man and God. There's no other way. You can't earn your way. And so I would encourage you during this time with the uncertainties of the world that we live in, if you're not sure about who he is and you think it's a fairy tale, you might want to think that through and start doing your research because God, Jesus, is coming again. And um, it's not going to be pretty. So we are celebrating Good Friday because of what Jesus did for us. And so, our hearts are heavy on that day, and we reflect, um, and we are thankful. But there's, there's good news to, to this, uh, this death, if you will. He doesn't stay dead. 
And so on Sunday, we celebrate Resurrection Day. And that is what brings hope to the Christian faith and to the believer, is that after this life, we have an eternal hope for all who believe that Jesus is the Son of Man, that Jesus died for our sins, and that he is faithful to forgive. We have a restored and renewed relationship with God. So one day when we come to the gates of heaven, and God says, why do I let you in? It's not going to be based on works, or how good of a life you led, or how many good deeds you did. It's not based on that at all. It's based on the facts of the faith that you possess, that God has given you. The faith that he has given us in what Jesus has done for us. And so I pray that during this time we can draw nearer to God. We draw near to him who gives strength, who casts out all fear. We need not fear of the unknown. He will provide. He always does. And so we pray that we have more believers during this time coming to Jesus. And we live this life, Jean and I, are open about our faith, believing that Jesus is Lord and Savior. And we want him to rule over our lives. We don't have that perfect. We're normal people. We sin like the next person, but we try not to. And as soon as we realize that we're doing something that goes against him, against God, we ask for forgiveness. And he's faithful to forgive us. And we should not carry the burden of that sin and put ourselves down because that's not of God. When we do that, we're allowing the enemy to win and to rule over our hearts. Jesus says that he has forgiven every sin and it's been nailed to the cross. That's why he came. We pick ourselves back up and we start afresh and we try not to dwell on what if. When that time comes and you're being faced by the enemy and you're being tempted, put on the full armor of God. Call on him and ask him to rescue you. Ask him to remove whatever it is that is tempting you to fall prey to the enemy. And so we have an intercessor that lives within us. The Spirit of God lives within us. And it nudges our hearts every time we go against what God says. And says, you have done wrong. And when you realize that, we confess. Jesus is the only one to forgive. You confess immediately. And he releases that sin. And, and God doesn't see it anymore. You've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. And this song, Sanctified With Thee, that's the journey that we're on. We're becoming more Christ-like until the day he calls us home. So we don't dwell on Jesus died on the cross because he didn't stay dead. Yes, he endured a lot of pain for us. I couldn't have done it. If I had a son, I couldn't have given him up for this new world. I couldn't have watched my only son hanging on the cross. And so I encourage you to allow the heart that God has given each of us. He's created every one of us in his image. Allow your heart to open up to his so that you can become renewed. This is the time. This right here is the time. We love you and we hope that you have a blessed Good Friday, and it is good. And I pray that you have a joyful Resurrection Sunday and that you find hope in the midst of everything that is going on right now. Thank you for joining us. Another COVID-19 music video.
Do you have anything to say, husband? That's it? Nothing? Nothing. You don't you want to talk about all. you don't want to talk about being evenly yoked? No. Nope. <laughs> We're yoked. All right. God We're bless you guys yoked. and you take care. All right. Bye.